Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome. Welcome, my dear students of class 7. Welcome you all to the online class conducted by Dr. Khaskuti Government Girls High School, Chattogam. So, all of you are keeping very well by the grace of Almighty. I am also fine by Almighty's grace. So thanks to the Almighty for everything. Let me introduce myself. I am Sabrina Islam, assistant teacher, English. So I am going to start an English class that is on your English for today, reading part. I think you all have the reactive book in your hand, so all of you, I want to introduce our today's topic, today's lesson. So all of you look here, look at these pictures, picture one and picture two. Okay, what can you see here? I think you all can get these two pictures, are of a family and maybe you can recognize some of the family members here yes you can see the father of the nation bongabundu sheikh mujibur rahman and you can also see some other members of bongabundu's family I think you can also recognize the Honorable Prime Minister, Bhagavandhu's daughter, Sheikh Hasina. So, these two pictures are of our father of the nation, Bhagavandhu's family. They are his family members. So, what is our today's topic? Okay, look here again. This is the picture of our father of the nation, who is also called Bangabundu. Look at this one. Yes, there is another picture. Can you recognize her? Yes, of course, you all can do it better. Who is she? She is wife of our Bangabundu, or we can say father of the nation. What is the other name we can call by? We can call her. That is Bongo Mata. She has her name also. So uh, you got the relationship between these two persons. One is the father of the nation and Bongo Mata. She is the wife of our father of the nation. So our today's topic is about Bongo Mata. You have one lesson in unit five. The name of that lesson is Bongo Mata our source of inspiration. This is our today lesson from five. So all of you open your book, open your EFT book. You know about Bangumata in this lesson. So the first stage, that is section A, look at the picture and answer the following questions. There are three questions in your book, in your EFT book. The first one is, what does Bangumata mean? The word, this word is used here, Bangumata. So the question is, what does Bangumata mean? I think you can uh, understand uh, what does it mean, Bangumata. Okay, I'm helping you. 
we can answer this question in this way. Pongomata means mother of Bengali nation, who has motherly love and affection for the nation and sacrifice for the liberation of her people. So Bangomata means mother of Bengali nation who has motherly love and affection for the nation and also sacrifice, she has sacrificed for the liberation of the people of her country. Number two, why is this great woman in the picture called Bangomata? Can you answer this? Yes, of course, you can do it. Why is this great woman in the picture called Bangomata? She is called, this great woman in the picture is called Bangomata because she did something great. She sacrificed something for which she is called so. She contributed a lot. She inspired our Bangabundu during the Liberation War in 1971. She has also contribution by inspiring our father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, in different historical movements. She always inspired our Bangabundu to involve himself in different movements. You know about some of them. Number three, what do you know about her? Okay, I think you have already known some things about her. For example, she is a great woman in the history of Bangladesh. We have also known she is the wife of our Bangabandhu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. And we also know she was born in Tungipara, Kopalgons. Yes, the date and the year we will know from our text. So we have already known this. This is section one. Now we are going to our text. All of you look here. You have this text in your EFT book. So this is the whole text about Sheikh Kozilatul Nasa Muji. Here, all of you look here. I have underlined some of the words from this text. And I want to say you the meanings of these words so that you can understand this text very easily. The first one, affection. What does it mean? A gentle feeling of fondness or liking. When you love someone, when you like someone, when you are fond of someone or something, that is called affection. Next word you can see here, historical movements. What does it mean? Yes, historical movements means those movements or those events that aim at control of process of historical development. That means the movements which uh, take place or we can say took place in different times for, for developing, for developing the country. Next, pull him back. If you read this sentence, you can understand it better. She never pulled him back and never thought of her own interest. So what does it mean? Retreat from an area. Or you can say to decide not to do or involve yourself with something when you were previously going to. 
that means she never pulled him back that means she never stopped him she never stopped him to do something okay next word significant what does it mean sufficiently great or important to be worthy of attention or we can say not of that is important remarkable we can say this next martyrdom another word what does it mean the death of suffering of a martyr you know a martyr who sacrifices his or her life for the welfare of the country for example we have martyrs language martyrs we have also martyrs uh, of our liberation war and the last word is here prosperous what does it mean successful in material terms or we can say flourishing financially that means that can be seen when you are successful and which can be you can identify those you can see those that is prosperous so dear learners i want to read the text to you all of you listen carefully shake positive nata mujib is a great woman in the history of bangladesh she was the wife of father of the nation bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman she is called bangomata because of her motherly love and affection for the people and her sacrifice in all historical movements especially the liberation war of bangladesh this noble woman was born in tumbara gopalganj on 8 August 1930. She had no demands of her own. She lived a very simple life and taught her five children how to live an ordinary life. Gradually, she became a nation maker along with Bangabandhu. Even though she was the first lady of Bangladesh, she had no pride and did not want luxury. Bangomata always inspired Bangabandhu in all difficult situations of the country. She always encouraged him to involve himself in politics, really for the people of this country. She never pulled him back and never thought of her own interests. She played a prominent role in the Six Point Movement in 1966. she gave the right suggestion to bangabandhu to face the agartala conspiracy case in 1969 she strongly supported him to participate in the general elections in 1970 and inspired him to deliver the sweet 7th march speech in 1971 her role in rebuilding the newly born nation was so significant On 15 August 1975, the most tragic event in the history of Bangladesh took place. On this very sad day, Bangomata met Matadom, along with Bangabandhu, their three beloved sons and some close relatives. She will remain in our hearts because she and Bangabandhu worked together to build a happy and prosperous. Sunar Bangla for us all. Okay, dear learners, I think you have got some idea about Bangabandhu, about Sheikh Fazilul Nasa Muzib, and also her contribution in different historical movements. In the third para, we have got those. For example, we have uh, known about uh, Six Point Movement. We have known about about the conspiracy case in 1969 we have also known about general elections in 1970 and also about 7th march speech in 1971 in every uh, movement or in every event she has 
contribution. She contributed a lot. She worked together with our Bangabandhu. So she played a great, great role to make this nation, this Bangladesh, to build a happy and prosperous small Bangla for us all. We have got this idea from this lesson. Now we are going to uh, do some exercises, all of you. I think uh, you will do it better. The first one, what can you see here? Yes. Uh, this is called multiple choice questions. There are 10 questions. And for each question, there are four choices. You have to uh, choose the correct one from here. Okay, the first one, number one. Sheikh Fadil Kinnata Mujib is a great woman in the history of Bangladesh. They are great means. Okay, you have to uh, choose uh, the correct one from here, from these four choices. Number two, this noble woman was born in Dhinipara Gopal on 8th August 1930. What does noble mean? Okay, I have done uh, the correct answers. I have uh, marked the correct answers here. All of you uh, uh, try to match uh, with my ones from here. Okay, the first one, Sheikh Fadil Kunda Samuji is a great woman in the history of Bangladesh. Yeah, great means famous. Second one, this noble woman was born in Tungipara, Gopalgons, on 8 August 1930. What does noble mean? Okay, noble means honorable. Number three, she had no demands of her own. What does own mean? Yes, own means personal. Number four, she lived a very simple life and taught her five children how to live an ordinary life. Here, ordinary means simple. Number five, Sheikh Fazilatullah Samuji was a source of motivation for Bangabandhu, a source of arrogance for Bangabandhu, a source of pride for Bangabandhu, a source of brilliance for Bangabandhu. Yes, it will be motivation or we can say inspiration. Here is motivation. So this is the correct answer. Number six, why didn't she never pull Bangabundu back? Why? Yes, you have got this idea in your text. That is, she never thought of her own interest. Actually, she always thought of her nation, of building Sonar Bangla, that's why she never pulled Bangabundu back. Number seven, Bangamata did not want luxury because what was the reason here? Because she was very simple in nature. Number eight, Bangamata always inspired Bangabundu in all difficult situations of the country. What is uh, will be the correct answer here? Inspire means motivate. Number nine, which one of the following words has a similar meaning of specially? You can see here the four choices are prevent, oh sorry, uh, generally, commonly, particularly, and the another one is frequently. So which one will be the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is particularly. Specially means special, particular. So specially means particularly. And the last one we have got here. Gradually, she became a nation maker along with Bangabundu. What does gradually mean? Here you can see rapidly, step by step. Then you see quickly. And the last one, one after another. So which one will be the correct answer here? All of you try to find it out. Yes. I think you have done it correctly. Yes, the correct answer is step by step. That means not at a time. Okay, step by step. So these are the uh, 10 answers, correct answers of these 10 questions. All of you match your answer from here. 
dear learners of class 7 i think you all are attentive you are doing this Okay, I think you have done it correctly. And another important thing is that these multiple choice questions uh, you will not get in your reactive book. So uh, I have uh, done it, I have made it for you, dear learners. Now we uh, will do other reactive tasks, exercises uh, that are given in your reactive book. That is in section C. Look at these questions. Answer the following questions. Uh, first one What lesson did Bangamata teach her children? Number two How did she lead her life? Number three How did she help the father of the nation? And the last question is here What lesson do you learn from Bangamata's life? So these are the four questions uh, given in your EFT book. And if you uh, are not clear about the answers, in that case, you should read that text again. You know, this is a reading part. So uh, you can read the text once, twice, or more than this if you need. So, dear learners, I have uh, made these answers ready for you. All of you look here what I have written uh, for this um, uh, for this uh, question. Number one, uh, the question was, what lesson did Bangamata teach her children? Bangamata taught her five children how to live an ordinary life. You know, Bangamata also liked to live an ordinary life. She lived a very simple life. So she also taught her five children how to live an ordinary life. Number two, the question was, how did she lead her life? Yes, she led a very simple life. She never thought of her own interest. Number three, how did she help the father of the nation? Yes, we have uh, got many uh, uh, ideas about this in the text, uh, in the third part of the text. Okay, I have uh, written Bangamata always inspired Bangabandhu in all difficult situations of the country. She always encouraged him to involve in politics, to involve himself in politics, freely for the people of the country. She played a prominent role in the Six Point Movement in 1966. She gave the right suggestion. To Bangabandhu to face the Agatala conspiracy case in 1969. She strongly supported him to participate in the general elections in 1970 and also inspired him to deliver the historic 7 March speech in 1971. So, by doing these, these, these things, she helped our father of the nation. You can write these sentences also. Number four, okay, the question, uh, what lesson do you learn from Bangamata's life? I have written in this way, but you can write it in different way also uh, from your understanding. Okay, uh, now I am reading it out. The first, uh, number fourth one, Bangamata had no pride at all. She always, she was always with Bangabandhu in all difficult situations. That means she supported our Bangabandhu all the time. So she is called Bangaman. I have got inspiration from her life and the activities that she did. I have learned to lead an ordinary life like her. I have also learned that. Then I will also work to build a happy and prosperous country, of course, like our Bangaman and our Bangaman. So I have uh, made these answers. Uh, you can, uh, it can be uh, different. Uh, you can use uh, in different way. You can write it, you can uh, make it in different ways. 
So all of you, try as your own way. Of course, uh, use the ideas that you have got in your text. Okay, now there's another text uh, in section B, another exercise in section B. Okay, what is there? All of you look here. Read the text again and find Bangamata's ideals and contributions. Fill in each gap with the information. One is done for you. All of you look here. The first one is uh, written here. Her great affection for the country. So uh, you can see you, you just write about Bangamata's ideals and contributions. But uh, you don't need to write the whole sentence, just the, uh, uh, you can say noun phrase, or you can say the subject, okay? Uh, you can write this. You don't need to write the whole sentence or object like that. So, dear learners, look here. I have written it. And uh, the second one, her sacrifice for the welfare of the country. Just the ideal and contributions of our Bangamata. Next, I have written her leading an ordinary life. Then, or we can say uh, her way of uh, leading life, we can write it also. Her great teaching to her children. And the last one I have written here, her great contribution to make the nation Shunar Bangla. So, uh, in this way, uh, you can uh, uh, say it, a chart also, where we have just uh, put the information. We have just filled it, filled the gaps. Okay, dear learners, I think you have, you will also do it uh, correctly. So these are the exercises that have, uh, that we have done, we have completed here. But there is another exercise uh, in section E, that is a project work. Okay, what is there? Uh, let me read it out. Plan and design a wall magazine for your school on Bangamata and Bangabandhu on the observance of 15th August National Morning Day. Call for poems, short stories, and essays on these two great persons from your class. So you know this is not an individual work. This is a group work. So um, all of you now uh, are staying at your home. So how can you do it? Uh, do this group work? Okay, you can uh, uh, you can uh, talk with your friend over telephone, over mobile, mobile phone. Then you can plan. Just uh, plan for this, and then when uh, we. Uh, again, return in our regular classes in schools, you can do it. Uh, so now you can plan with your friends, uh, how can it be, it, uh, be done? So uh, there are some uh, points what you should follow. Firstly, form a committee for this one. That means uh, you friends uh, make a group, make a committee, uh, five or 10 members, uh, can be there in your committee. Secondly, divide the roles and responsibilities among the members. That means uh, you should uh, divide your roles, your activities and responsibilities among the members of the committee and select a place for the wall magazine. Of course, it should be uh, in your school. Next, thirdly, call for papers on poems, short stories and essays on these two great persons and give a deadline. Fourthly, uh, sort out the best uh, literary pieces. Fifthly, publish them on the wall magazine. Finally, invite your school and community people to see your work. Okay, dear learners, I think uh, the first three uh, activities you can do if you stay at your home. So make a plan, form a committee, and divide your roles and responsibilities among the members of the committee. Your learners, I think you can. You all, uh, by uh, doing your activities, you can do it, or you can just plan it, staying at your home. When we return in our regular class in school, we 
uh, of course, we we'll try our best to complete this project work. Okay, dear learners, thank you all for staying with, uh, with me in this class. All of you, stay home and stay safe and follow all the rules which should be followed to avoid COVID-19. And also say your prayers to the Almighty so that the Almighty helps us in this, in this hard time. All of you, thank you again. Allah Hafiz.